Hey, Rock On Berians. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Half of My Head. All right. Hey, it's my birthday. Happy, happy birthday to me. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm making a birthday video. Yeah, there's a stool over here. I'm gonna sit in it. How you doing there, friends? Yeah, so, um, uh, I just got home from, uh, Really lovely uh, birthday uh, dinner my wife and I uh, went out to. And uh, I'm just going to crack in. I thought I would crack into uh, a beer that I actually bought for this occasion um, for my birthday. And I also found out that, uh, you know, may or may not be becoming an uncle also tonight at some point. Maybe. Possibly. Not confirmed. But, um Yeah. So, uh, check it out. I was in, uh, I was in Copenhagen for, uh, for work, um, earlier this week, or earlier this week, it's Monday, so, uh, I haven't been there earlier this week, um, last week, earlier last week, uh, and I went to, uh, a bottle shop that I like there called Kiosk, I don't know why I drew it out there. And um, they are known to have some pretty uh, cool stuff. And look what I found. I found some Jolly Pumpkin. I found some real, honest to God, Michigan sour beer in the Corona times. Straight out of the homeland. Straight out of the hometown. Not quite my hometown, but close enough. Close enough. Jolly Pumpkin is from Dexter, Michigan. I'm from Port Huron, Michigan. They've some length of road in between them but uh for all intents and purposes this is my favorite hometown brewery uh one of my favorite breweries um just in general um and yeah i bought this bottle and it was obscenely expensive and i don't care but uh <laughs> it is called i thought i was special oh that's a uh, nice to have on my birthday it's called i thought i was special uh, it is from, it is a, uh, and it is a, it's a, um, it's a collaboration beer with Tired Hands Brewing, which is another really great, um, brewery, American brewery, uh, which is super cool. So I'm just going to read the, um, this is, this is like a sour, hazy IPA, as far as I can figure out, um, it's nine percent alcohol by volume. That's a, that's a heck of a that's a heck of a beer, and it says India Pale Ale, uh, and it says this sour hazy IPA was brewed to celebrate our friendship with Tired Hands Brewing Company. They released. I was just thinking of you, Ron Jeffries. Ron Ron Jeffries being the founder of Jolly Pumpkin, uh, featuring Ron's face on the can, making Ron feel very special. Sometime later, Ron discovered that his face was just the first in a series of brews dedicated to inspirational brewers from Jean of Tired Hands. Ron thus questioned his specialness, and I thought I was special, was born. This big oak-aged IPA is packed full of Centennial, Citra, Cascade, and Falconer's Flight hops, lending aromas of grapefruit, apricot, and honeydew. The flavor is exploding with hop-centric notes of grapefruit, um, grapefruit pith and pear, followed by some wild yeast derived suggestions of juniper, nutmeg, and mint. Uh, and this says, Cheers and mahalo a plenty, Ron Jeffries, founder and chief squeegee operator, Jolly Pumpkin Brewing. And this is Oak Age Michigan Sour Beer. I'm gonna crack this sucker open. Happy birthday to me. Feel like this is a, a fitting beer. My bottle opener is having a, a bit of trouble taking this big. Oh, man, eh, don't escape. I caught it, you guys. All right. For this occasion, I am busting out the Jolly Pumpkin Snifter glass. Oh, look at that. If you've never had Jolly Pumpkin beer, which, I mean, it's 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 very possible because they're you know a relatively small sour brewery from Michigan like one of the the older sour American sour breweries 
making like more traditional Belgian style sours. Um, they don't they don't uh, they don't get far outside of Michigan and in that kind of general area. I'm lucky enough that for whatever reason they export a few bottles over here to Denmark every once in a while. They have you know friends in the Danish beer scene. And uh, I, I tend to buy whatever I can get just because it's just so cool to have something from Michigan. And I mean, it's especially cool to, to have something, you know, in these times when I can't leave Denmark. So, you know, this is my, this is my Michigan beer. It's cheaper than a plane ticket. I mean, even, even as an expensive bottle, it's still cheaper than a plane ticket. So, all right, guys, cheers. Well, I'm going to... Let's give it a smell. Look at the, like, check it out. So it's, I mean, when, when they say hazy, it's not like, it's not like juice. It's not like New England style IPA hazy, but it's, you know, it's not clear either. And it's got a nice little head, especially for a sour beer. It smells fantastic. Jolly Pumpkin beers have this like very distinct funk. Maybe it's just like bias, which probably is that I'm biased, but it, it always seems like it's just this really bright, like it's, it's not, it's not like super barnyardy. It's more like a bright, like almost citrus funk. And that's, that's where it is here. I can smell the Brett. I can smell all kinds of like, yeah, citrus and, um, yeah, grapefruit peel. Oh, it just smells so good. I'm going to take a drink. Oh. It's so good. It's like a crazy, yeah, a crazy marriage between an IPA and a like a traditional sour beer. It's bitter. It's bitter like an I I mean like a like a normal IPA, like your good old Midwestern IPA. It's got that that bitterness. And then in the background, it's just got that really bright funk. Like Citrusy, but also, I mean, there's enough like Brett character to it that it's not, it's not like super hops fruity. It's, um, it's for sure, it's for sure a sour beer. That's great. Oh man, that's great. Yeah, well worth the, um, well worth the price of admission and well deserving of the old birthday beer. I mean, I've had a couple of beers before this, but this is like, this is the main attraction. And uh, I mean, I thought I was special. This makes me feel, it makes it's it makes me feel special to find this and drink it over here, especially at this time where I'm kind of, it's very, it would be in, incredibly hard for me to travel back to the US due to all the restrictions. So having this nice taste of home is is pretty cool. It's pretty special, even with the name of the beer being I thought I was special. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and uh, I I got a uh, really cool Lego set, Ghostbusters Lego set for my birthday. I am gonna go in and I am gonna build that as a as the cap off to my to my really nice birthday and. Um, Thank you for watching, cheers, and uh, yeah, see you later.